Welcome to this look at, this overdue look at, a new-ish and updated map on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Silly P. This is Riverside Farms by Missy B, 257.29 megabytes to download. This is the, since the update, apologies for the delay, life is kicking my butt at the moment. There are a couple of reasons why I didn't do the original version. But I'm doing this version. Buckle in, there's a load to be getting your head round. I'm going to whiz off and get a pickup in a minute and start from the store. That's Missy B's logo just there. We are on the map. Now, you know you get some of those maps where you get a couple of sell points, or you get a sell point, and I say, there are loads in the Mods Hub, you can place sell points around the map. <laughs> there are no shortage of sell points on this map. There's a lot to get round, but there's also a lot to make you aware of. Now... If you haven't downloaded this already, when you download it, you're going to get the updated version anyway. If you're playing on this map, I would have thought you'd have updated it by now, potentially. But it does say that a new save game is required if you're already playing one. So you get the updated version with all the things that are on here. Now, it also says there is a problem at the moment. And I think Lancy Boy's map... American Life Farming had the same problem. This is an Xbox problem where the roads aren't showing up. There might be some other things with it, but it requires you... The only way to fix it is to have the Alpine DLC installed. Now, if you haven't got the Alpine DLC, that means you've got to buy it, have it installed for it to solve the problem. Missy B has put in her in a blurb, in her notes, that she's working on a more permanent solution than having to have the DLC. But at the moment, that seems to be the issue, and it only seems to be on Xbox for some reason. I'm not too sure why. Now, we start... Well, I'm on New Farmer, Normal Economy, as I always do my map tours on. It sits at 650 out of 1,299 slots, which isn't too bad. We do have a fair bit of start equipment, which I'll go... I'm, I'm doing this bit now, because when I go and get a pickup, that will affect what the slot count says, obviously. So if we just come out a second and we go into our garage, 650 out of 1,299. Now, some of this equipment is scattered around the map at different locations, so we'll get to it as we go around. We've got a Fence 724 Vario, Fence 1050. We've got some pretty sort of high-end gear. Phoenix 6x6 Agro Truck. We've got the Russell Mash RSM 161, Manitou MLT 737 Telehandler. Trailer. There are some mods as well. I need to go into that too. Um, Draper Stream Header. We've got Plow Cultivators, Seeders, Planters, um, the Seed Tank, Fertilizer Tank, Herbicides and Fertilizer, Liquid Fertilizer Sprayer. Fertilizer and lime spreader, slurry spreader with attachment, mower equipment, but no buildings, which brings me on to the next bit, and that is that all the animals are on here, but you need to own the land. If we go to the map again, you'll see. Actually, no, I'll do. Let's zoom out a bit. This is what we start with on New Farmer. That's probably the easiest bit. You start with the biogas plant as well, which I love. I love that as a start thing. I know Mr. B said a while ago. Um, what was the other map? Why the farms? When she was doing that, um, we had a kind of bit of a chat. There was a few of us in the group. Anyway, regardless, that's now on the start. That is a phenomenal biogas plant. It takes loads of extra stuff with really great prices. If we go across one and go down to the biogas plant and scroll across, potatoes nine hundred for a thousand years. Sugar beet four fifty. Sugar cane four fifty. We go across. We've got wood chip. 900 silage 540 so it takes loads of extra stuff 540 for manure there as well 270 for slurry prices are good and it takes loads of extra stuff so that's an absolute bonus now if you come onto it sorry if you come onto here on new farmer or farm manager you don't own the biogas plant and it's only 31,908 to buy so it's not mega expensive anyway even if you don't own it while we're on that subject, as far as field prices go, while we're here, not too bad. We've got some really small ones, like Field 37, for example, for nine grand. Forestry, main forest in the middle. There's a couple of other little bits dotted around the map, a bit there and a bit there. But Field 12 is 365 and 13 is 388. They're the biggest, I think, yeah, the biggest fields on the map. So not too expensive for field prices either. Now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to borrow some money from the bank because I was, I was saying, what you start with is this farm up here, which is a cow farm with its farm silo. All the other animals are on here, but they're 
kind of hidden at the moment. Now I hope I got them all right. So what I'm going to do is drop off here for a second, grab a pickup. Um, I'm going to borrow some money and then I'll get all the bits of land. So this is what you'll start with, but then we'll get the land and we'll go around and we'll be able to see all the rest of the animals as we go. Was there anything else I wanted to talk about before we move forward? Oh yeah, all the equipment we just looked at. If you come onto here on Farm Manager or Start From Scratch, the slot count drops to 471 and you don't start with anything. So you don't have any any equipment whatsoever, but the slot count's 471. And like I say, the animal pens are all fixed in place, the buildings are all fixed in place. That was the other thing I was going to say about mods. Um, mods that have been included by Missy B, which kind of leads into the crop type. I know I'm, I'm rambling, I'm rattling all this off, there's a lot to get around. Crops, onions, carrots, rye, millet and sorghum are extra crops that have been included on the map. If we go to beak technology and scroll across, we have got a modded Terrados T440 and a Tiger 6XL. These will do your extra crop types, so your carrots and your onions, um, as well as your potato and sugar beets. So if you're going to buy one, you can buy one of those, which is... Jolly handy. I'm just looking down my list. What else was there? Oh, yeah, trailers. Under trailers, we had... There was one trailer right at the very end. There we go. The KS950 Mini Shop. 10 grand for a 60,000 litre trailer. That's nuts. So that's been added in by Missy B. Then as far as harvesting goes, under beet technology, we've got a load of headers to go with those beet harvesters. So we've got onion, carrot, carrot, onion for the either the holmer or the roper depending on what you go for and if you're planting or seeding the rest of the crops i think both do all of them as far as i can tell your millet your sorghum your rye carrots onions under cedars and i'm pretty, pretty sure under planters it was the same yeah so all the new crop types or the additional crop types you can do with either cedars or planters and other than your root crops your regular harvester headers will harvest the extra crop types, your millet, rye and sorghum. Uh, so that I think covers the modded side of things. There aren't any modded buildings. Oh, you don't start with a sleep trigger either, um, which personally I think is quite handy because it gives you the option to place your sleep trigger wherever you want at any of the farms anywhere. There are loads in the mod tub. You can pick one and off you go. Now I know we're seven and a half minutes in, but that's all important information, all stuff you needed to know. Well, at least I think you need to know. It is seasons and precision farming ready as well. While we're here, we might as well take in this sell point. This is Titch's Agri. Just here. What Missy B's done is also a nod to all the people that helped with testing and stuff like that. So as you go around the map, a lot of the names of the places are named after people that have helped. There's a few names I recognise in there. So, And we've got a fuel station here. And then just past it, we've got the shop And the cell point is round the back, I think it was round the back. That'll be the first three done anyway. Fuel station, Titch's Agri, and the shop cell point. It's going to be way around here, isn't it? Should have gone the other way. Yep, just here in this hazard marked area there. I'm going to see you in a moment at the main store. We'll grab a pickup and we'll get round the map. There's loads to see. See you in a moment. Okay then, we're at the store. So what I have done is I've bought some extra bits of land, borrowed some money. Up the top here, between two and five, we've got sheep field, sheep pasture. We'll get around to that later. That's the one we started with. Down here, below these cell points, just south of the river, we've got the pig food silo area, and that's where your pigs are. Right down the bottom corner, I'm not sure if we're going to go right the way down there. That's where your horses are. They'll take 16 horses. The troughs are all fairly straightforward. It's just a long way out. Or maybe we will. Haven't quite decided yet. Right across the bottom, where field 66 is, we've got chickens. That plot is separate to this plot and this plot. I bought all three. That one is a farm area, kind of placeable area. And then that, we'll get to that. I'll explain when we get down there. Oh, the two farm silo areas. I need to buy those. Sorry, I forgot to get that. And that. Um, and then just up here, we've got another cow uh, area just up here. I think that's it for animal pens. If I've missed a plot with animal pens, I do apologise. I did kind of scour the map. We do have a couple of 
placeable areas, one right here, that is marked with a name and mine has gone blank. With trees and stuff on it, it needs to be cleared and there's a placeable area right the way up here as well in case you're feeling like you want to sap your own farm completely. But I'll be honest, the farm areas are huge. Plenty of room for landscaping. So we are at the main store now. I've got myself a pickup so we can get around the map. Now, some of your equipment is here at the start. Your cell repair customised point is just here. This is very reminiscent of the one on Why the Farms, actually. And I do like this setup. I like the idea of doing this. Uh, and then we come into the main area. Some of our start equipment is here. Our harvester, there's your buy point if you want to use the buy point. Our smaller fence with the planter system on it. We've got our cedar. I think the plow. Is the plow? I don't think the plow's ours. And then the header for the harvester. I'm pretty sure that should go out the doorway when it's folded. Otherwise, it'd be quite tricky just to smash and grab straight through the windows. So this is your main store point. This is also your reset point. If you have any issues or problems, this is where you will reset vehicles to should you need to. Right, um, looking down my list, and it's a long list because we've got a lot of, a lot of points. I've actually got two pages of notes today, which I don't normally do. Okay, so let's hop in the jalopy and let's head off. Now it does say the map is set in, I think it says Cheshire. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, East Cheshire. Is it Cheshire where all the footballers live? Footballers and, and wags. I can't remember now. Anyway, so we're going to head north and we're going to swing back round. We're going to go back past, past the forest and kind of do a loop round only because I kind of had it in an order and then realised I needed to get a pick up because we can get around the map a little bit quicker and then thought to myself, ah, I may have, may have made a mild mistake here but that's not a problem. The lighting's good, the texturing, uh, like, colour palette works. There's enough colour, like with flowers and stuff around the map. Hedges do have collisions, as you can see. So we're going to go almost back around to where we started. I like say so only because that's kind of when I went around the map myself, having a look around. I made my notes from that point, and then suddenly thought, "Ah, oh, I need a vehicle." So swinging back around, we're just coming past Titch's Agri now. There's going to be a turn in. We're going to go up into the woodland to where the sawmill is. No shortage of forestry. There it is. I'm going to cut straight through the woodland. I think. There are tracks. I thought it might be a little bit easier to whiz straight through. I'm really conscious of the time. It's going to be a fairly long one, unfortunately. Well, not unfortunately. No, that's the wrong way of putting it. Um, so, we have got here uh, Knight's Wood Chips, N I T E. So, Knight's Wood Chips, and then we've got Vulcan Sawmill. There's two sawmill cell points here, which is unusual. I don't we come across two sawmill uh, cell points at the same location. We've got Vulcan's sawmill and Knight's sawmill cell point just there. So Knight's wood chips, Vulcan's and Knight's sawmill. From here, my Discord is going bonkers. Apologies if you, if you heard that in the background. Let's follow that round. And back to the main road. Right, we go back past a couple of cell points we were just at. And then begin proper. I'm going to have to turn it off, that's going to drive me mad otherwise. Sorry, just bear with me one second. Typical, isn't it? Right. <laughs> From here, oh, honestly, it's been mad, absolutely mad. My hay fever has abated slightly today. Which is great. My eyes aren't itching and streaming. My face isn't melting. It's all, you know, I'm not sneezing every two seconds, which is marvellous. It's always nice when you have a bit of a respite. Thank you to everyone who commented the other day um, offering suggestions of things I could try. I have tried locally sourced honey. I've tried all sorts of stuff. The wipes thing's a great idea. The wipes you can wipe your face with to get pollen off your face. I've never come across that. I have got wipes, so there's no reason why I should do that. Anyway, 
We are here at the next sell points. Sorry, I'm, I'm waffling somewhat. We are at Jay's Milling and Elmer's Grains. Elmer's Grains is this side, and Jay's Milling is the other side, I think. It's that way around. If it's not that way around, it's the other way around, but they're right next to each other, so it shouldn't be an issue. From here, we will check back on the map every now and again, as I often do. But we're going to be heading north up the western side of the map. That's right, because we're heading to the northwest corner. When I first came on here, there was traffic everywhere. There was absolute carnage. Right, we are coming up on the Big Beef Farm. There is a sign, there are a few signs about for different plots, the Big Beef Farm. So this is one of the plots you have to buy extra. And when you buy it, the animal sign kind of pops up I and mean, when you look around the map you kind of you can see the ones that've got buildings on that you don't own yet and that I just kind of went around checking each one just to see and as you'll see when you get to this point there is plenty of space now the riverside far or riverside shed pack riverside farm shed pack the Mississippi released a while ago is evident here as you can see all the buildings plenty of building storage space we've got a farm silo here the farm silo here is a multi fruit silo, and I think this one's a million litres. Pretty sure it's a million. Miss B's logo above the downspout. I'm trying to think, was there a workshop in here? Uh, there wasn't a workshop trigger here. But cows this side. Again, on this, uh, as go going round, the triggers for all the livestock areas are fairly straightforward and easy to find. Not too much of a problem. All of the animals on the map, I say all of them, I think, was it bar one? Are all 500 I think one of them was 510 but uh, yeah all pretty yeah 500 I think the sheep are 510 so if we go around was it here I'm trying to think where the trick was we've got slurry manure here our milk point just here feed trough across the front straw is inside I think water trough just here and if we open our gate our dialogue boxes. Oh, the straw might be over there. The dialogue box is just inside, he says. That's weird. I could have sworn it was this side. Maybe it was the other side. I think the straw trigger might be over here, actually. In this one. Maybe I wasn't in the right place the first time. I should have gone with my gut instinct. Because I went round, there were quite a lot to be looking at. Maybe it was in this gate. There we go. Dialogue boxes this side. 500 cows at the Big Beef Farm. From here. We're heading north. So we're into the northwest corner. Then we're going to go across the top. So we're going to kind of go clockwise ish. I want to see you up there. Oh no, there's something we've got to go to first. Biomass. We've got the biomass plant, which is just on the right. That takes wood chips. That's just here on the right. That's your biomass. Now we're heading northwest. This has got one anomaly actually up here that I couldn't work out. I mean, I say it seemed obvious, but I'm not sure it, it would make sense when we get up there. So, right up in the northwest corner, we've got a cluster of cell points up here. I need to get these in the right order. So, I wrote them down in order. So, we have got Evans Grain Shop. That's right. It's this one here. We have got this is the store buy point, and this is a kind of buy anything point. Lime is free here. There's another farm shop where the lime is also free. So you can buy pretty much anything you want here and the lime is free. Now, I haven't tested the sell point here. You've got a loading bay area. That, I'm trying to think, where have I seen that? Sussex Farms. Sussex Farms? And Mercury Farms, I think. And you could sell stuff. I haven't tried selling anything there. But as we move over to the corner, 
listed on the map and we have come from the store we went round up into the woodland back past the first few sale points then down to jay's milling and elmer's grains we came up here to the the big beef farm we've come up past the biomass and now we're up here now what we've got shown here is evidence grain shop we've got root crop sale warco's transport and barnyard so if i click on that barnyard root crop sales warco's transport evans grain shop so the kind of buy anything farm shop is just there but we've also got what looks like a spinnery cell point which isn't showing on the map but that could be part of bales though because we've got bales here i mean they are technically bales aren't they wall bales and so it could just be part of the bales bit um i say bales but barnyard uh, we've got root crop sales for our carrots our onions our potato does this do sugar cane as well yeah, it looks like a bit of everything and then we've got through the gate here we've got warco's transport or Warco. could be Warco. i always say Warco. whenever i've seen it, it said Warco's, but it could be Warco. transport cell point just here so from here in the northwest corner we're going to head right across the top of the map. I'm going to show you where we're going because I'll probably cut a bit of this out. Back past the biomass, up here, take the turn in. Now, we came up from the stall round that bit. We're going to go up there, all the way up. We're going to stop at the sheep pen. Then we're going to go round to the start farm and head our way round as we go. So, like I say, because there's so much I need to fit in, there may be little, just quick snips where we uh, skip a little bit of the driving, possibly. For, for the most part, the map is safe. There's a, a kind of, what's the best way of putting it? A kind of gradual undulation across the map, I suppose. It's just, it's not flat, it's not completely flat, but it's not mega hilly either. Um, I suppose it's got a sweep to it, I guess. Across the crossroads, and I'll see you over at the sheep in a minute. So, coming up rapidly on our left-hand side. Let's pull right over and out of the way so I don't get tooted at by passing traffic. We have got the sheep pasture, which again is one of those ones you have to buy extra. We can open that up and we can go into the sheep pasture if we want to. I'm going to just double check this. There's our dialogue box. This will hold... Now, this was the one that was 510. This will hold 510. Close that. We have got our water trough just here, a feed trough just there, and our wall pallets will spawn under this handily provided shelter to keep it protected out of the rain. I'm noticing more and more as I go around that Missy B's logo on various different bits and bobs. So that's the sheep. But again, when you first come on, when you look at the map, that icon's not there, and it's only just that little building there made me think, oh, I wonder if there's something in that field, and it wasn't numbered. So I was like, hmm, okay, it's worth a look, and it absolutely was. So from here, we're going to go to the Start Farm. Now, Start Farm's interesting as well, because the silo... I really don't... The story's pretty much, I think, pretty much for everything, as far as I can tell. So we've got cows that you start with here. This is also 500. This is Riverside. You know, every time I see that sign, Riverside, or hear the, when I say Riverside, I keep thinking that song. Was it Sydney Sampson? I'm not going to sing the other bit because, you know. It was Sydney Sampson, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it just pops in my head every single time. So we've got cows and plenty of shelter space. But again, huge expanse, big area. We can use landscaping tool if you want to. And... You can get out, get uh, the grassy areas and bits out if you want to. That's entirely up to you, whatever you want to do. You can pave the whole lot if you wanted to. So we've got... I'm going to do this again, aren't I? Getting the dialogue boxes in the wrong places. That's weird. What's that one for, then? Is that, is that the milk bit? I'm pretty sure that's for straw, for the bedding. That's me saying, the triggers are all really easy to find. Um, we've got feed trough across there. We do have lighting. Uh, 
Oh no, it's here. Water trough just inside there. And our dialogue box is just inside there. This will hold 500 cows. Nice big pastures, plenty of space. That must be the milk pit. Um, slurry and manure pit. And then we've got a rather large silage clamp just there. We have got a fuel point, a death point and a water point. Again, I'll try to check because the start machinery is, like I say, is dotted around all over the place. There we go. I knew there was something in one of these. I just remember which one. We've got our Braydale fertilizer and lime spreader just there. Plow under the shelters here. This is storage for seed and fertilizer. And this will hold 100,000 litres of each. I think it was 100,000. I'm sure I double checked it. Now, this is the interesting one. This is a huge silo. But what's interesting is each of these spouts does something different. The first one does two or three. I can't remember what order they rule in now. And as you go along, you can take different things out. You don't have to have these doors open. You can take different things out under each one. Which is something a bit different, isn't it? And down the other end is where you put into, as far as I can tell, you put everything in at this end, here, into the pit, but then you can take out all the way along, which is rather cool. We've got a workshop trigger just here. And then we've got our Fent 1050 with the mowers on and our cedar just there. So yeah, plenty of space, loads of room for, yeah, adding more placeables or whatever you want to do. And obviously you don't have to have this as your start farm. That's the beauty of not having a sleep trigger fixed at the start is uh, you could sell this plot of land and pick another one somewhere else. It doesn't even have to be one that's got any animals on. You could just pick a plot and say, right, I'm going to live in the middle of this field with a sleep trigger pillow or, you know, it's up to you. However you want to go about it. So we're going to come out of the farm this side and we're going to cross the river. We're going to head round to... Oh, we've got some more sell points before we get to the pigs, haven't we? Pretty sure we have. Let me take that off. I'm using my Logitech heavy equipment side panel. That's how I'm going in and out of the menus without going in and out of the menus. Have I missed a turn in? I have. I was too excited to go over the bridge over the river. There it is. I suddenly thought, hang on, according to my list, there's a whole load of cell points. Yep, yeah, it's down here. So this is the second farm shop area. Like the one in the north west corner. So we have got now with like with the, the sawmills, we've got two wall points, I think two wall points right on top of each other. So we've got cozy wool, which is just here. We go through the gate. We've got the farm shop, which is just here again. Lime is free. We have got, let me just check my list. Bulk buy, yes, that's the bulk buy just there. Oh no, farm shop, so that's farm shop sell point. So we've got farm shop sell point, that's the farm shop, and that's the bulk buy bit. We've then got farm wool, so we've got cozy wool just there. We've got farm wool just here. Now, I think these are part of the farm shop sell point area. I think we can sell, yeah, well, I'm pretty sure, yeah, wood chips and manure here. Although well, it's not showing up, I think it's part of the farm shop. And then over here, we've got farm barn. So we've got farm wool, farm barn, farm shop, and the bulk buy. Cozy wool over there, and some wood chip and manure. I told you, there was no shortage of sell points. From here, I really want to be able to get through all this and not miss anything. I think we're over halfway. I hope we are. Right, we've got a bit of a drive to get round. The pigs are just over there. But the actual way to get into them, we have to go a bit further down and across the bottom and then come back up again. I thought there might be an entrance way like off of this road, off to my right. 
I couldn't find one. Don't think I'm missing anything obvious, but I always love when you come onto a map and you've got different crop types, and it's just get seeing that. Whoa, that could have been nasty. You get that different look across a field, a different colour or a different, you know, texture, and it's always nice to see something a bit different. Uh, right here is where we turn in. Across the cattle grid. Now it's a cattle grid, but if it's a pig farm, is it a pig grid? I have often wondered. I do think about these things <laughs> late at night. I don't really. Anyway, so. Pigs! We have come from the sheep. Riverside Farm. Out of Riverside Farm, down to all the cosy wool farm, barn farm, wool farm shop. Across the river down around the bottom there we've come up this track we are now pig food silo which is just there now that will take pig food and straw and it was 120,000 litres i think now i think i assume you put in the same place you take out because i couldn't find a grid for putting in that's a storage silo not a buy point uh pigs 500 trigger is just here Slurry point, manure point, just over there. We do have our slurry spreader, just there. And then round inside, we've got feed and water troughs. And I think this is the straw bedding point, just here. So for putting your straw in for their bedding. I think that's it. Lighting inside the building as well. I do like the storage solutions. There seems to be storage solutions pretty much everywhere for everything. Which again makes life a little bit easier, and especially when you've got... I know not everyone agrees with multi-fruit silos and that kind of thing, but... I think... If it means you haven't got to buy and place additional silos... I'm just trying to think, can I go this... I'll carry on this way. Back out to the road. and continue on. We're coming up on one of those placeable points that I, I pointed out earlier. You can get to it from here and the next road we're going to come to, but the sign for it is the next road. But as you can see, there are trees and stuff right across the whole thing. So you have to clear the land first if you're going to use it. We're going to take a quick detour north. Because we've done the store already, we're going to have to go up back up to the store. We've got some more cell points just over the bridge. We're going back over the river and turn in just here. So here we have got AD bulk and AD bales, cell point, there and there. We've got our livestock market, and I think the trigger's around the back. Yep. Trigger around here for livestock. Now that's interesting, that same 500 for the sheep. But when I... So I didn't check it here, stupidly. I should have done. I did it out of the pens. I'm sure it came to 510, unless I just miscalculated. Anyway, regardless, uh, animal dealer. We've got Waters Dairy, which is just here. And then we've got Lily's Grains, which is this one. Just here. So we come from the pigs, down there. Across this low road here. And then come up here. And we are here at the moment, Animal Dealer, AD Bulk, Bales, Waters Dairy and Lily's Grains. We're going to head down and round. We're going to go to the biogas plant, but I'm thinking because of time we're not going to whiz out to... You know what we'll do? Hang on. Just bear with me a second. Here, we're at the horse paddock. In the very southeast corner. This will hold... I'm sure it was 16, wasn't it? Did I say 16? Yeah. 16 horses, southeast corner. It's all fairly straightforward buying there the feed triggers and water tri triggers and troughs just there bit of an exercise area two we'll save a drive away back down with it yeah right in the bottom corner back to our regularly scheduled programming right then more cell points biogas plant 
Let's go. That was the name I was looking for on the side of that placeables area, Glider Farm, just there. I didn't go to the placeables area up in the northeast corner, did I? There is a slight detour out to the right here, which takes us out to a little reservoir kind of area. I'm assuming this is a, a water point. Signs in the middle there. Danger, deep water. Right in the middle. Plus all reeds and stuff, you don't want to get tangled up in all of that. That's just here. Continuing south. We come to some more cell points. We are at, where are we now? Cartin Grains, Ismo's Mill and Angry Mill Grains. So Cartin Grains is just there. And then we've got, I can't which way around this was. We've got Ismo's Mill and Angry Mill Grains. I think this one's Ismo. In there, they're right next to each other. And this is where your lorry and trailer is. But interestingly, I'm just thinking actually, under garage, the trailer you've got is not the modded one, is it? No, that's weird, isn't it? Why have we started off with the standard one and not the cheap 60,000 modded one? Oh, it doesn't matter. I mean, regardless, it's here. Uh, if we check on the map, so let's go back to where we were. We came down past here, a little reservoir area. So it was it's most the top one. I think it might have been. I'm sure, Ismos is the top one. Yeah, Ismos and Angry Mill Grains. Carting Grains is that one just around the corner where the pickup truck is just there. There's more cell points to come. Don't worry, we haven't run out. There are more. Quick quiz round to the biogas plant. Now, as I've already talked about, the biogas plant takes a ton of stuff and pays out very well. But we've also got, under the buy points of the two farm shops where the lime is free, you can also buy compost, but you can make it too on here, and you can use it. No, not that one. If we go across, we go to our manure spreaders, and manure spreaders will take compost as well, which is rather handy. So when you buy this plot, what was it, 31,000 I said? It was like 31,900 or something, wasn't it? So nearly 32 grand. I'm looking on my list. I thought I'd written it down. Maybe not. doesn't matter. Um, so we've got a digestate point just over there for your byproducts. We've got our putting into the digester just there. We've got a large bunker silos, silage clamps just here with flood lighting around like a football pitch. But what we've got over here is this. How to make compost. Fill types. Grass, hay, wood chips or chaff. I love it when wood chips are used for more than just selling now compact 120 percent then leave for five days as if by magic compost is made so you can make your compost you can use that to spread on your fields if you want to or you can buy it it's entirely up to you from the biogas plant we're heading across the bottom uh well yeah towards the bottom of the map aren't we what I'm, I think we haven't got too much more to look at. <laughs> I say that, I'm just thinking actually, there is a fair bit. It's packed. As we cross another bridge over the river, we've got a little pub on the left hand side. There's not a cell point here, I don't think there's a cell point here. It's a cash point, should you need it. Pub just there. We're going to continue on to the next junction to the right. Which is just here. This is Terrier 930 Farm. Now, I'll be honest, this one I had a problem with. Only, I say, a minor one, but... Oh, I didn't say, did I? I'm just looking at my list, hang on. Riverside Farm, 
the, you know that huge silo at Riverside Farm that I said was split into all the... That's five million litres. Um, I'm looking at this. I didn't mention how big it was. It's five million litres. So the one at the big beef farm was a million. There, that's five million. So we are at... We've come from there, went to the biogas plant, came back, past the pub. We're now here. These two farm silos. So these are kind of technically two separate farms. We've got a gate here that splits them. In each one... We've got loads of shelter and shed space. We've got a huge silo. And there's a farmhouse up in the corner there for that one. And then we've got the same this side. Again, with fuel, water, def. These are for seed and fertilizer storage. And I'm pretty sure these were... What were these? I think there's 100,000 litres. Um, the large silo over here, I think, was a million litres. And that's got the Missy B logo over the top of it. Now, that one, I managed to get it to show a million litres and it would go into all the crop types. Workshop trigger over here. And the farmhouse in the corner just there. So the farmhouse is kind of back on two separate yards. So if you're playing multiplayer, you could be around on top of each other if you want to. I couldn't get that one to work i couldn't get it to show me what the capacity was and that one doesn't have the missy b logo on top of the spout either so i'm not too sure why that one's working but that one's not I, that was just me personally it might just be you know, a, a quirk of me up me uploading it or, or i don't know but this one worked the other one wasn't I, or at least i couldn't get it to from here then so that's two huge farm areas again plenty of placeable space nice and flat not any landscape or anything required. Let's pull out into the traffic. So we're now coming on to the chicken farm. Yeah. This was the one I showed at the start that I bought three plots. You've got the chickens south of field 66, which is just there. We've got a farm area, which is just here. This is Bry the Guy Farm. Now, as you can see, as we turn in, Bry the guy needs to do some weed whacking. And when I say weed whacking, forestry. Now, this could be removed with landscaping if you wanted to. Because I own this plot, let's just quickly jump on there, start landscaping. Let's pick that. I think we're on the right one. So, oh no, let's go across to, what do we want? There's a whole load of landscaping textures available. But we can remove that fairly quickly and efficiently with the landscaping tool. You can make that into a narrative if you want to, to clear the area. So we have got more workshop space. It's hard to see from here. We've got workshop space. And then if we go across, we've got a silo. Now this is the compact silo compared to the other ones. I mean, it's not that compact, so we'll see. Fuel, water, def again... Storage space for seed and fertilizer. That's 250,000 litres. That will hold. And your chickens are just along the bottom here. Feed trough there. Dialogue box just there. This will hold 500. And your egg pallets, egg boxes, will spawn just there. So we are now here. This bit here. So Bry the Guy's Farm. Chickens, compact silo. Field 66. Actually, here we are. we're not far off. We're not far off. We're going to get there. We'll hack our way through. Actually, what I'm going to do is the next bit on foot. Now, if you buy the next bit... <laughs> please, let me out. There we go. The next bit here, again, it's not showing us anything in particular, but if we buy this plot just here... We've got all these greenhouses down the side. Now, you have to buy the plot. You have to own it for it to work, as far as I can tell. We've got a manure pit there for piling manure up and storing it. That's a water storage. That will hold 60,000 litres of water. So water and manure. And you can come along and you can fill up all of these with water and manure. Just bear with me one second. Water and manure. There's quite a few. And when done... It should a little should a little look. It should look a little bit like this. 
Now, that paid out, when I tested it, 1,200 per hour with all of them filled. Which isn't too bad if you've got a byproduct of, water, of manure and if you've got water from a, a water source. Once you've bought the land, 1,200 per hour for all the greenhouses filled. Not bad at all. Little market garden area if you want to go down that route. And then, I think... Have we come to the last sell point area? I think we might have done, you know. We're now down in the southwest corner of the map. This is where, you know, like when you're a kid and you're writing a, a, a note or a sign or you're doing homework or whatever, and I just don't, I, maybe you're not just a kid, maybe adults do it. And you start off with really big handwriting and you start off your sign or whatever it is. And then when you get down to the bottom, you realize you haven't left enough space and the writing gets smaller and smaller. That's what my notes are doing. As I got down to the bottom of the page, I realized I had loads to fit in and not enough space. So now my handwriting is absolutely tiny. But I think I can still read it. We have got Raw's Beets and Raw's Potato cell point. So Raw's Beets and Raw's Potato, just there. Uh, we've got Zeke Streak Grains from Zeke and Streak. We have got the Manure South and Slurry Yard. Now that Missy B has a separate slurry mod, which actually pays out quite well. Manure and Slurry Yard. And then we've got a Buy Diesel Point here for fuel. That is right, isn't it? Raw's beets, raw's potatoes, Zeke Street grains. Yeah, manure south slurry yard. I could, I could read my notes. And we've got a fuel point just there. And that, if we come back up the road there, we did Jay's Milling and Elmer's grains. Did we get round everything? I think we might have done, you know. Um, apologies if I've missed anything. If I've missed any animals in any of the fields that I didn't find or didn't... Well, yeah, just didn't find. I think we've covered it all. And again, apologies for the delay, uh, it, you know, there are two more maps came out yesterday and I'm not quite sure when I'm going to get a chance to get onto them. But that is Riverside Farms, the updated version by Missy B. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, as always. Thanks for watching.